The journey to find Sean takes the sole survivor to the Glowing Sea. There, they meet an intelligent super mutant named Virgil. In exchange for Virgil's help, the sole survivor agrees to retrieve a super mutant cure for the scientist. A cure for a super mutant? Is it possible? Well, the events of Fallout 4 answers this. Upon giving the cure to Virgil, he becomes human once again. But the Institute wasn't actually the first to theorize a mutant cure. In Fallout 1, Zack's 1.2 at the Glow has a wealth of information regarding the forced evolutionary virus. When asked if the FEV mutation could be corrected with a counter virus, Zach Zax mentions that a virus that reinfected the host with their original DNA could reverse the super mutant mutation. In Fallout 2, Doc Henry notes that he's been working on a radical new concept to solve the mutant problem. He goes on to say that mutancy isn't absolute, but can be cured. While neither Zax 1.2 or Doc Henry make much headway in reversing the super mutant condition, it would seem that the Institute was able to. 